Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Basilvani Ismail, uh, for uh, moderating the session. Uh, now, uh, now we move on to the session four, uh, administrative and financial services track. Uh, this uh, session is chaired by Dr. Raif Abdul Nader, head of the department, AFS department. I welcome Dr. Raif Abdul Nader to chair the session. Yes, doctor. Yes, Dr. Mastan, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, uh, again, good morning for everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, wish you a nice day for our guests, our colleagues, and our uh, dear students. So, uh, it is my pleasure to share uh, this uh, third session for uh, this fourth session for today and my, uh, the second session for our department, for AFS department. So, uh, for uh, our program for today, we have uh, three papers. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, from Dr. Tarak Shebi uh, in collaboration with uh, Professor Dr. Walid Ahmedet. Uh, the paper is entitled The Impact of uh, ECB's uh, Pandemic Emergency uh, Asset Purchase Announcement on Sovereign uh, Bond Yields, Evidence from Euro Area uh, Countries. The second one is uh, proposed by the second paper is proposed by Dr. Ahd Al Haraiza from AFS department, and the paper is entitled "Social Media as a Sustainable Tool for Marketing Communication." Uh, and the third one is uh, a paper proposed by uh, students, uh, a paper extracted from uh, her graduation project, supervised by Dr. Ahd Al Haraiza. Uh, the paper is entitled The Effect of Electronic Promotion on Tourism Consumers uh, Behavior. So uh, we have to start the first one. So we call uh, Dr. Tarak to start uh, his presentation. So Dr. Uh, I don't know if Dr. Tarak is available or not. Is available, sir. Dr. Tarak is available. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Tarak, if you, if you, could you please uh, start, and uh, Dr. Mastan, please share. We uh, allow him to share his screen and to start his presentation. Dr. Tarak, uh, please unmute your uh, mic, and you can start sharing your screen. Yes, it's okay. Yes, sir, we can hear your voice. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you very much for your uh, for this opportunity. I will present today my paper, uh, my recent paper my on, paper the, on the uh, examination of the information, the information content. content of the implied volatility surrounding the ECB, European Central Bank, monetary announcement. announcement. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we we'll start with the so-called so literature. Could you please, could you please, could you please, could you please uh, share with uh, your screen, Dr. Tara? Dr. Mastan, allow him to share his screen. Yes, sir. He was made as a presenter. He can. So before starting, could you please share your screen? Okay. Dr. Tariq, uh, share your entire. Yes, yes. It's going okay now. No, sir, not yet. Uh, we cannot see your uh, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, and now? No, sir, uh, if you want me from my side, I can. Shall I share, sir, from my side? Okay. Okay, okay I will do it, sir. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
Yes, sir, you can start your uh, presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, my recent paper, it is uh, on title of the uh, assessing the information content of the implied volatility around the European Central Bank monetary announcement. Okay. Uh, we we'll start with the literature about the risk return trade-off or the link between risk and uh, return in the financial market. Okay. Uh, we know that the relation between the risk and return, it, it is considered among the fundamental laws of finance. <clears throat> and the theoretical interest model of uh, Merton, 1974, uh, highlight and I have the link between the two variables. And the empirical literature on the sign and the significant, it is not... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, it is not inclusive, okay? For example, we found that the trade-off or the link between the two variables are positive for the work of French, uh, 1987, Campbell and Hanchel for the US stock market and for Gesset, AR, 25, and Anelli, 26 for the international stock markets. We find also negative trade-off uh, founded by uh, Gloston and Earl, 1993, uh, uh, for the U.S. stock market, and Lee Earl for six markets, including the U.S. market. Also, we have uh, in, uh, found in the literature that there is no trade-off between risk and return. We show, for example, this in the work of Bailey and the Genero for the U.S. return stock market, and Chin and more recently, uh, my work, uh, Shelby 19, 2019, we have concluded that there is no relationships on the emerging stock market, namely for the Gulf countries, the Gulf stock market. Uh, also, if you have, if you, it is possible to move to the, yes, for the literature about the informational content of the implied volatility. Uh, there exists a vast literature that examines the role of the information, okay, coming from the implied volatility to option prices on the risk return links. However, the findings are also mixed. For example, Day and Luis show that the inclusion or the addition of the implied volatility does not produce significant effect on the trade-off between risk and standard and push 100 and next return for the US stock market. And more recently, the work of the Canas 2013 finds evidence that uh, when we add implied volatility into Garsh model, okay, we have significant and positive risk return link. Okay. From the, the two literature, we have uh, constructed our model and our paper with the objectives of uh, uh, to detect the information content of the euro area, euro area applied volatility on the uh, of the euro stock 50 called the Vistox, and two national applied volatilities, especially for Germany and France. Uh, we focus in detecting the, their effect in the manner to correctly specifying the measurement and the forecast power of the conditional volatility as obtained from Garsh specification. And consequently, okay, we try to reach or to detect the trade-off between risk and return when adding the implied volatility, especially for the case of euro area stock market. This is the, the ultimate goal of my to find contribution and construct contribution to the literature. My paper, uh, our paper focuses on the international context that does not match studied previously in the empirical literature. Okay, and we contribute to the recent announcement literature of the 
and conventional monetary policies okay, that focus recently in the return and volatility. But our contribution is to try to, to, to detect and to examine the impact of the implied volatilities okay, in the Garsh model when we have announcement of money. for this paper, okay? Uh, to do this, we have focused in four indexes uh, from the Europe, Euro area countries. We have the CAC 40 index for the France, CDAX performance index for Germany, and the FTSE MIB index for the bourse of, uh, for the stock exchange of Milano, Italy, and the IBEX, 35 index for the Spain. And we have focused also in three implied volatility, okay, like the V stocks for the whole, for the whole market in the euro area, and two national implied volatilities. The first one, it is the VDAX, and the second one, it is the VCAC Garant for the, uh, for the, the, the exchange, stock exchange of Paris, okay. The, we have collected this uh, information and this data from the well-known Bloomberg database. Okay. The baseline model, or the first specification, it is the well-known Garsh model in return. Call it the Garsh M. We have two equations. Okay. The first one, it is the return equation based in the stock prices, okay? And the second one, it is the variance equation that generate the HIT, which is the, the conditional variance. We show that in equation one, we have added the various conditional variance in the return and to try to determine the risk between conditional variance and the return. The coefficient, estimated from the equation one determine okay the dynamic of the relation between return and variance and for the second one the second equation we determine the behavior of the conditional variance for the uh, euro area stock market okay also from this model, uh, model from this uh, specification, Garsh specification, Garsh, it is, means the model based in the conditional variance. We have the fourth index, the DAX, K40, FTSE for the, for, the, for the Italy and for the Spanish stock market. We have the coefficient just in the last line in the panel A for the mean equation, we show the, the trade-off or the coefficient that uh, determine the link between risk and return, we show that uh, for the Germany and for the uh, France, we have positive sign. That means that we have a positive link between risk and return. Okay, and this uh, positive sign, it is also found for, uh, for the Spanish market. Unfortunately, for the Italian market, we have no reaction between risk and uh, return in the, their stock market, in the stock market. Also, for the various equation, we have estimated the coefficient, okay, for the variance, for the arch effects, and for the variance effect, we show that uh, all parameters are significant, and the sum of the alpha and beta, which measure the volatility persistent, it is very high for the, our th for specification. Okay, based in the Garsh M model. And these results highlight the performance of our model without adding the implied volatility. We will show now that when we add implied volatility in the model, all results will be changed. <clears throat> this is for the slide eight about the baseline model. Okay, now to examine our, uh, to test our uh, contribution, okay, we added the implied volatility as measured by the V stocks for the Euro area country in the equation two 
of the Garsh M model, which is the equation of the uh, the variance, conditional variance. Okay, and we try to to show the impact of the inclusion of major variable like the implied volatility in uh, uh, Garsh in the link of uh, between return and volatility. Okay, this is our the purpose of our paper. Okay, we try to estimate the coefficient lambda for this uh, specification three, and we have found finding two. We have found that uh, when adding the implied volatility in the Garsh model M, we show that the persistence of the volatility between, as measured by the coefficient alpha and beta, are are affected, okay? And we show that the persistence of the volatility become negative for the case of the Germany and for the case of uh, France, okay? For the other country, there is no effect for the, for the uh, addition of the implied volatility, okay? And uh, also when we work not only with the the implied volatility of the whole markets in the euro area. We will work also with the national implied volatility for the DAX and for the CAC around, for the Germany and for France. We uh, we found similar result when adding their implied volatility. We show that the persistence of the volatility for the stock market for the Germany and France it is it is well affected. Okay, Our, we will try to explain this result, I think the important result and original result. We show that the estimated for the Arch parameter and the Garch term are strongly reduced, okay, which indicate a considerable deterior deterioration of the persistence in the volatility process, especially for the Germany and France. German and French stock market. Our results are in line with the work of the Kindness 2013 for the US stock market. Okay, this author showed that uh, when they inclu it included the VIX, okay, which is the measure of the implied volatility for the stock market, okay, we have decrease in the volatility persistent. And recently for the uh, selected Asia Pacific stock market, they confirmed the reducing effect of the implied volatility. Okay, our results, as mentioned, are in line with this uh, literature, empirical literature, and also our result uh, follow the, the the well known finding of the paper, early paper by Lamour Elastraps in 1990 and. More recently, Kalev et al. 24, they, that they confirm that the inclusion of important variable, like for example, implied volatility for our uh, uh, examination or trading volume for their examination, the volatility specification will change. Okay? And this will affect okay, the measurement of the conditional variance and consequently affect the measurement of the risk and consequently the trade-off between return and risk. This is the importance of such result. Okay, we extend our model to consider or to establish an empirical foundation for the previous finding, okay, highlighting the importance of the implied volatility by drawing in on our regression approach, okay, or by drawing on the regression approach specified by early work by Dai and Luis and Christiansen and Prabhala. And uh, this author used the methodology based in the ability of various volatility forecasts to predict the future realized volatility. Okay, we worked with uh, this equation, okay, and we tried to, to determine the impact of the implied volatility, our variable of interest in the 
future realized volatility t plus one it is the future and t it is the current uh, current observation or current date also we try to highlight the uh, the impact of the conditioning varies from the Gersh M model and their impact on future volatility. And also our contribution is to determine the impact of the conditional volatility extended, which means that it conditional volatility plus implied volatility, okay, on the forecasting the future realized volatility. And uh, we have found the following result. We show that, and I quickly just, I, in summary, we show, and I will focus in the R squared, okay, which measures the impact of the, the independent uh, or dependent variable on independent, sorry, independent variable on dependent variable. We show that for the our a specification based in the H or conditional variance is the implied plus the implied volatility, the VDAX squared and the VCAX squared for the French or for German and uh, French market respectively. We show that the addition of the VDAX uh, implied volatility and the VCAX compared to the sample uh, impact of the cash conditional volatility, we show that uh, we have uh, improvement uh, of the R squared, which is the coefficient of the, that uh, indicate all impact of all variable on the regression. We show that the result for the, our specification, it is 0 0.37, and for the sample specification, it is 0 0.34, and uh, for the market of French market, we have coefficient of 0 0.34, and we have 0 0.30. We have increase in the R squared for our specification. That indicate the importance or confirm the importance of the addition of important variable like uh, the implied volatility in the Garsh variance specification. Okay. This is our finding that confirm our result about the importance of the inclusion of uh, implied volatility. This is for the for the okay, okay, okay. Uh, also to confirm our previous result, we we reestimated the equation two based in the baseline model or equation one based in the Garsh uh, equation mean based in the uh, in the we replaced the conditional variance to other measure of the risk, which is the implied volatility, and we have confirmed negative risk return link or trade-off, okay, of uh, for the German and French stock market. This negative, okay, uh, value compared to positive value found in the found in the table two, okay, which is uh, which we have shown positive coefficient and now we show negative coefficient okay this result highlight the importance of implied of the inclusion of implied volatility in the garsh model okay to correct to correctly specify the measurement of the risk okay the risk it is the fundamental law of fines okay associated with the return here we found other result and uh, as a recommendation for researcher and for practitioner and for professor to look carefully to the measure of the risk okay or the proxy of the risk okay also and finally as a robustness check of our paper and uh, given the importance of the uh, of uh, the period of uh, 29 to 2015 which is marked by okay the well known debt crisis for the european countries and the adoption of the monetary news announcement program or monetary announcement 
sorry, monetary programs by the European Central Bank. In this context, we try to 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 link, okay, the or to 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 examine the behavior of the volatility for the stock market, okay, surrounding this uh, announcement of monetary policies by the European authorities. Okay, uh, we do this by interacting the unconventional monetary policies, okay, adopted by the European Central Bank, by entering, interacting this variable to, okay, to the V stocks or to the implied volatility in the conditional variance, okay, and and we have found that uh, the addition okay or the interaction between the face stocks or the implied volatility with uh, with the demi variable of monetary announcement by the european central bank okay uh, has no effect on the effect of the implied volatility on the conditional variance and uh, more general, general in the stock market okay uh, and, uh, there is no effect of the announcement of monetary policy on the impact of the implied volatility, okay, based in the two measures of the announcement of poly monetary policy, dummy variable zero and one, one for the even day and zero other ways, or surprise, okay, of the announcement as measured by the Italian spread for the bond market, etc. We have no, we have, man, no, there is no effect for the impact of monetary policy. And also, we have divided our sample into crisis and post crisis period 29 to 2012 and 2012 to, 20, uh, to 2015 to try to find some variation in the coefficient and, and in the result. We have also confirming the previous result, the announcement of monetary policy as uh, an uh, important news to the market, financial market, especially to the stock market, okay, has no effect in the link between implied volatility and various, and uh, therefore the risk between return and, uh, and uh, variance for the case of the euro area country. And, okay our thing find we try to to give some explanation to this uh, and significant impact of the monetary news from the european central bank our findings are by and large compatible with the work of or the finding of the lee and dry 2019 that indicate that the effect of monetary announcement on the information content of the of the v stocks or implied volatility uh, uh, it is not uh, uh, or dis disappears after a short period of time the the author work with uh, okay uh, with highly frequency data i think with uh, minutes okay. or seconds Okay. Please conclude, okay. yes. conclude your session within five minutes. Uh, we uh, we reach uh, uh, the last that uh, given time. The given time for presentation is fifteen minutes. You reach uh, the last uh, five minutes. Please conclude within five minutes. Just I will take one minute. Thank you. Just to conclude, to conclude the result at the short period of time. We have impact of the monetary announcement of the implied volatility with long period, relatively long period, because we worked with the high frequency data as daily data. We have now shown any effect uh, with daily frequency data, okay, for this uh, context, okay. Another possible reason for the lack of the role of monetary policies announcement in affecting the information content of the implied volatility is that such announcement when associated with the lagged variable do not matter for the anticipated effect and the, the result of the, the finding by Falagiarda and trades 2015 find that the major fraction 
of the impact of the announcement from ECB, uh, okay, took place on the event day. Thank you for your attention. Very much. Thank you for this uh, presentation. So, uh, uh, any feedback, any comment from our uh, colleagues, our uh, dear guests and participants? Is there any question, any comments, any? Dear participants. Otherwise, we will move to the next uh, presentation. And uh, by the end of this uh, session, if you have any further uh, question or clarification, we can ask uh, after finishing the three papers. Thank you very much. So, Dr. Ahad, now you can start your presentation. Could you please start your presentation? The paper is entitled... Uh, the paper is entitled... Uh, Dr. Ah, the social media as a sustainable tool for marketing communication. Dr. Ahad, okay. are you available? Good afternoon, okay. Dr. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend my gratitude and thanks to the scientific uh, research and uh, staff development uh, unit for their efforts in, uh, I mean, making this opportunity for a scientific research contribution. Uh, actually, I have made like uh, 26 slides, so I'll be in, in somehow, uh, I'll do in that quickly, but showing the uh, clarity of this uh, research paper. Uh, first of all, we'll start with the uh, title, which is uh, Social Media as a Sustainable Tool for Marketing Communications. The case study of this paper, research paper, was uh, as an evidence from Oman College of Management and Technology. So, uh, the, uh, ab uh, the, the this research paper introduced a, a, an abstract, which is this research paper focused on social media as con considered as a sustainable tool for marketing communication between people in an educational institution. The main aim of this uh, research paper is to know or to uh, explore the importance of social media uh, or social communication and their role in uh, marketing communication. Oman uh, College of Management and Technology students were selected as a sample for this study. The primary, uh, primary study or uh, data where assembled or collected uh, via questionnaire and the secondary information were collected from different sources, uh, books, refereed journals, internet and so on. And finally, the <coughs> SPSS was used to analyze the data. Uh, the introduction, uh, as an, a brief introduction for this research paper, yeah, just to know uh, or to have an idea about the, the social media, uh, how it, uh, how the, this social, uh, social media is characterized by the effectiveness of ease of communication, interaction between people, the different parties uh, uh, upon their interests and uh, uh, their, uh, their uh, interest. Uh, social media provide all information, uh, the availability of information for uh, people, whether uh, they are in uh, uh, educational institutions or not, or uh, the uh, general life or any other aspects uh, of life, uh, the social media is everywhere. The importance of the study is to knowledge of, to know the knowledge of students and level of knowledge of students uh, on using social uh, network websites and uh, different programs uh, and to complete their tasks or to be involved in the process of uh, uh, teaching and learning. So uh, I have mentioned here just briefly a theoretical background as the time uh, limitation, social media uh, can be just to, to know, 
can be classified into three types, social networks, which is based on exchanging ideas and contents with other uh, people or users, sharing tests, interests, uh, for example, Twitter and, and, and Facebook. The second type is media networks, sharing distribution contents as uh, pictures, or video clips, whatsoever, like Snapchat and uh, Instagram and so on. The third uh, type, Discussion groups uh, or networks, these are the, we can consider as special groups, which they are uh, like uh, people are assembling themselves in a spe specific network, which is for specific dis discussion or professional dis discussion and specialization. Uh, marketing communication. Uh, we can uh, show, show the meaning of market communication by the means used by companies and uh, to deliver the message and the way of delivering that uh, message. Here I have mentioned some previous studies. Uh, they have been used in this paper. For example, Ferry and Rodolf conduct uh, a study entitled Social Media and their impact on marketing com uh, communication. And the aim of the study to uh, to uh, investigate the impact of social media corporate ma and corporate marketing communication the second one is the by ennis uh, uh, the study was uh, focused on social media as a marketing tool uh sorry just to make it uh, more clear uh, as a marketing tool, uh, the, the, this study focused or concentrated on the study uh, of uh, small and medium sized enterprises in the, the Sultanate of Oman. Uh, the case study is the Oman College of Management and Technology. Uh, here I, I, I have mentioned the, the, the most popular feature that are used in the college here. The college offers many electronic services for example, uh, e-service uh, for the students and the staff, uh, emails, ELMs, uh, attendance and advisory system, Office 365, uh, external uh, library catalog, internal library catalog, and these uh, e-calendar forms and help desk. All these e-services are available within OCMT here for both uh, academic and students. The methodology that we followed in this research paper is uh, based on quantitative research, uh, which is uh, which is presented by a questionnaire as a tool designed to survey respondents with the specific information. Oman College of Management and Technology students were the targeted sample of this study. A sample of 100 students were taken to collect primary data using a structured questionnaire and the ratio tables and charts were used to obtain the required uh, results. And now we're coming up to the uh, data analysis. Uh, the, first, we start with the demographic specifications or <coughs> characteristics, the distribution of gender between males and females, as uh, it's mentioned here and clearly clear in this uh, chart and, and I will come to this point uh, at the uh, end. A distribution of age, the age groups here 18 to 25, 26 to 35, 36 to 45 and more than 45. Distribution of nationality as we have like uh, even a small percentage of uh, the, the, the people from outside of uh, Oman or uh, they are non omani uh, resident uh, resident in oman the percentage of n n n nothing from the above or omani or whatsoever was distribution of specialization this is a very important one uh, and therefore this study accounting business administration banking interior design marketing and computer science all this specialization within the ocmt uh, frequency of social media usage per day, how many hours they use the, the internet or the social media uh, per day. This, uh, this figure of, uh, show or articulate the percentage 
uh, or the how many hours per day they are using the social media. Now we are coming to the focus study, to the focus of the study, the social media, uh, social media. I divide them within questions and the, uh, these figures are showing the percentage and the variation of resp responses from respondents. Social media is one of the modern tools that affect societies. And the second one is social media is one of the phenomena that affects areas of life, such as industry and commerce. If you look at this figure, you will see two categories and different colors, uh, a blue and uh, orange. And you will see here the social media one of, uh, for each paragraph and the, uh, the rate given by respondents to each uh, paragraph. The third one is social media empowers my ability to focus and is not committed to my studies. And the fourth one is social network sites have become an effective means of communication between individuals ra rather than reality. As uh, uh, the, the, uh, the figure before uh, one slide, it shows the same uh, system of reflecting the results here or the analysis uh, by different colors and different uh, ratio or right or variation of uh, uh, responses. The fifth one is the spread of social networking sites in recent times is due to keeping peace uh, with scientific progress and technological development. And the sixth one is the use of social media causes neglect of social relationships and is uh, clearly presented here by different colors for each paragraph, the blue and orange as well, the agreement and disagreement between those. Dr. Ad, Dr. Ad, sorry for yes. interrupting, but uh, could you please accelerate or go directly to the findings and results to respect how, the time? How many minutes I got? Let's say five minutes, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm coming to the to the to finish it. Social media, the, the 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 second part of data analysis, is social media tools. WhatsApp is the most used in social social media. WhatsApp is considered one of the most important and, and fastest growing social sites today, and the results is showing as uh, uh, as. Uh, in this slide uh, is showing uh, by uh, through the figures and different colors with the, uh, the degree of agreement and disagreement. Uh, I prefer to use Twitter here. We are coming to the Twitter, different uh, social media tool. Uh, interested in news and issues, uh, it gives the same uh, using the same way of reflecting the data uh, or analysis here. They use Instagram more than other social media, has a negative impact, uh, the same as the previous one. And uh, here we're coming to the marketing communication, tools, advertising price, flexibility, public relations, are attention grabbing. And these are the answers of respondents on those uh, two uh, paragraphs. Uh, findings of demographics, as shown before, it shows the percentage for uh, male and female, and uh, also the uh, groups of ages and the in, uh, different uh, nationalities, uh, specializations, uh, etc. Uh, uh, findings of responses. Very satisfied students or uh, respondents were with social media and societies, and uh, also with. Uh, as a modern uh, tools affecting societies. Number two is uh, respectively that social media is a phenomenon that affects life and the percentage as you see here strongly agree and agree is the highest one. Uh, the third one is agreed with social media impairs the ability is uh, the opposite uh, answers we uh, they were uh, they were given. Moreover, most respondents agree with social media has become effective modern <clears throat> between individuals uh, and also uh, most of most of respondents 
the agreed that spread of social network site is due to keep peace with uh, scientific progress, uh, etc. Uh, also, I continue here with the same uh, findings of responses. Uh, strongly agree and agree with that the use of social media causes neglect of social re relationship. Uh, also here, the 37 percent and 42 of respondents strongly agree and agreed with WhatsApp is more used. Of, uh, 10 percent of uh, respondents are neutral. And most of respondents agree that WhatsApp is one of the most important tool. Uh, and here, 38%, uh, 28 uh, plus 28 strongly prefer using Twitter uh, besides uh, 35% and 35% are uh, strongly agree, angry, interested in news and uh, Instagram. And most of respondents as well uh, use Instagram more than the other uh, platforms or tools. Uh, also, Instagram has a negative effect of endurance through uh, and uh, thoughts and behavior, sorry. And finally, respondents strongly agree that social media is attention grabbing. And likewise, uh, strongly agree the most of respondents positive uh, positivity in marketing, communications and products in social media greatly improve purchase intent. Uh, to conclude, this study was conducting a social media as a sustainable tool for marketing communication. The uh, Oman College of Management and Technology has been used as evidence for this investigation. The study aims to identify the importance of social communication in marketing communication. Oman College of Management and Technology students were the sample of this study. The study has used the sample size 100 respondents. The results shows that respondents have a highly ability to interact with social media also clarified that mostly social media platforms and applications such as WhatsApp, Twitter, and Instagram applications are the very common and used application in Oman. And finally, the overall results demonstrating the positivity in marketing, communication, product, and social media greatly improves purchase intent. Thanks for your listening. If you have any question, it's my pleasure to have any question from your side. Thank you very much, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you very much. Good. It was very interesting. Uh, many thanks. Uh, I don't know if there is any questions, any comments, any uh, clarification needed regarding the content and the findings of this research. Please, dear colleagues, dear students, Dear guests. Okay, otherwise we'll move to the third uh, and last presentation in this session. And uh, after the f finishing this uh, third uh, presentation, maybe if you have any question regarding the three papers, we'll uh, go back uh, to hear from you. Okay, so the third, uh, thank you very much again, Dr. Uh, Baby. Yes, Dr. Tarek, you are uh, raising your hand. Yes, okay. Dr. Tarak. Yes, yes. Thank you. Just a congratulations for this great paper to presented by Dr. Ahad. Uh, okay, with the interesting subject of the link between social media and the marketing. Just I want to ask Dr. Ahad about the managerial implication of such findings to be used by, for example, in other sector or by other, okay, or by researcher in the future, etc. Based in your important and strong, strong results, what do you think about the managerial uh, application of your papers? Hello. Mm. It's Hello? okay. It's okay. Dr. Ad. Yes, Dr. Ad. Yes, yes, okay. We the, have the a question future. from Dr. Tarak, so please answer. Yeah, yeah. The managerial implications in the future research. Actually, this study can be extended to be more, uh, I mean, expanding to some other 
uh, and to include uh, all the educational institutions all over uh, Sultanate of Oman. This is one of these uh, uh, recommendations or suggestions. And the other one can be, uh, this study can be like uh, applied in different uh, sectors and areas in order to uh, maximize the importance of social media tools and how to be employed within the different facets of life and economy uh, for all people or uh, interested parties they are uh, or who they are uh, involved in the process of uh, development in different uh, life aspects good thank you doctor <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ra. Thank you very much. Is there any other much. question? Is there any other question, please? OK, thank you very much for uh, this interesting uh, paper and this interesting uh, discussion. So now let's move to the last uh, paper, which is proposed by Ms. Lujaina Shbaby. Uh, it is extracted from her graduation pro project under the supervision of uh, Dr. Ahad al Haraiza. So the paper is entitled The Effect of Electronic Promotion on Tourism Consumer Behavior. So uh, Dr. Mastan, please, could you uh, please allow the students to Ms. Lujaina to, uh, to attend as a presenter, it's okay. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. So you can start Lujaina. My name is Luzaina Suleiman Shalibi. Today I will present my graduation project, which is about the impact of the electronic promotion on the tourism consumer behavior. Firstly, I will talk about the abstract, the social problem, the social important research objective, literature review, previous study, research methodology, funding, suggestion, and conclusion. Abstract, this study is reduced the, the effect of the electronic promotion in the tourism consumer behavior. The study is aimed to clarify the fact that the effect to fight on the consumer behavior and identify the consumer of the electronic promotion and the decision and making the process. So this study is relies on the data collection for the primary data, which includes the process of collection, collecting the data for the sample tourists in Masa. Moreover, the, the study is used the quantitative of data collection by using the questionnaire tool method. Moreover, the except program it has been to use to get the sum of the results. Also, the study is used the secondary data as a box, newspaper, electronic research as the previous study. Then the research uh, problem. As we know that nowadays, uh, many people use the electronic electronic um, and the marketing the promotion by the internet through the instagram the twitter the whatsapp and another social media uh, however the main challenge is, is how the consumer tourism behavior influence the consumer decision and making during the electronic promotions research important the importance of this study is have many benefits, especially in the tourism sector, as follow first, rising the economy of the tourism sector, uh, second, accelerating to providing job opportunity for young people and reducing unemployment. But the research objective, uh, this research is aimed to first identify the effect of the electronic promotion on the tourism consumer behavior in the government of Mustad. Uh, to understand the relationship between the electronic promotion and the consumer tourism behavior. Uh, then uh, it's clarified the fact of involved in the process of the electronic promotion and the tourism consumer behavior. The literature review is included. The literature review is includes the two main parts. First part is critical formal. This part is include the three parts. First part is include the electronic promotion, which is the definition of the electronic promotion, advantage of the electronic promotion, disadvantage characteristic of the electronic promotion, goals, benefits, and importance, and types. Then the second part is the tourism consumer behavior, 
the definition of the tourism consumer behavior factor of the effect in consumer behavior, the importance of the tourism consumer behavior and the perceiving tourism uh, in consumer behavior and the impact of the electronic promotion of the tourism consumer behavior, the definition of government mascots, tourism in mascots, the effect of the electronic promotion and the government of mascots. Third part is the case of the study is the local tourist in government of mascots. In the pre previous study, this is uh, some example of the previous study, uh, found in 2011, the title of this paper, the title of the rule of the marketing is improving the mental image of the health services. We use uh, the SPSs uh, to analyze this study. And the recommendation of this study is to realize the importance of the electronic marketing by the following the personal marketing plan and the strategies for the customer. The research methodology. Research methodologies have the research design. Research design is a method in a business analysis to solve the research problem. This study the questionnaire are distributed randomly to the sample of the local tourists in Mossad. Research techniques. The study techniques is depend to collect the data of the local tourists in government of Mossad. And they analyze for the quantitatively to the option of the information to clarify the results of this study. Research population. The search is will be clarifying the information about the population at the age, gender, and geographical location. And uh, the number of the Omani tourists in government of Muscat is used to the 544,530 tourists in January at 2021. Research sample. The questionnaire is randomly selecting for the study sample for the local tourists in government of Muscat. This study research uh, the contest two, 206 samples for the local tourists in government of Muscat to achieve the results. Data collection and analysis. Data collection is one of the most important steps of the research. And this research is, is the primary and secondary source are used to collect the data. Type of data sources. Uh, first, there are two types of the data source, primary source and secondary source. First, first source is the primary source, uh, and it is the method used to collect the information about the research, and it published from the first time. But the secondary source is the data collection for the various data that collecting by the other people. And this source is used the study it has been collecting from the secondary website Previous study magazines and the electronic resource, and also it used the main website for the source to help to support for the research results. In the funding, uh, it focused to analyze the questionnaire respondents of the local tourists in Muscat, which is about the 206 sample. And there are many types I use material status, distribution gender, and distribution occupation and distribution of age. The main result of this study, first, uh, most of the tourists in Muscat is agreed that the online conversation between the people is used to go to the tourist areas in Muscat is about 18%. And the respondent of the statement is the 9.2% of the strongly agree, but 32 natural respondents and the quieter respondent of the stronger disagree is about 13.6 percentage and 25 percentage disagree. More the tourists in Muscat is agreed with about 46.6 uh, percentage of the video communication by the internet is helps to improve to deserve the tourism services in government of Muscat. And the natural of the price is about 25.2 percentage but the participants of the strongly agree is about the 10.2 percentage, and the strongly disagree is about 7.8 percentage, and disagree is the price is about 10.2 percentage. Third, the statement is the highest tourist in government of Mustard is agreed that 36.9 percentage 
the telephone calls is incorrect to the customer to make the decision to book first to pick in, in Mustafs and the stronger agree is about 12.1 percentage while the natural the natural of this statement is about 29.6 percentage and while the disagree is about 15 percentage for the participants the stronger disagree is about 5.8 percentage Question of this study. First, I suggest the online promotion of the tourist area in government of Mustad is done by the creating the website and the suitable for the all tourists and attractive to the customer so they have all the useful information. In addition, the states should be easy to use the tourism in, in the consumer in Mustad. Second, uh, I say this is the focus more to develop the advertisement because it has a great impact to attracting the tourists through the ethical and sensitive aspects as the in, for the interest in the development for the advertisement by adding the video, the shape and the colors to give the wonderful character. Third, I, I say this so that the tourist area in government of Mustad to encourage the tourists to visit the must by the enhancing the confidence of the tourism consumer in the electronic way by the awarding gifts, prizes, and conducting the different competitions. In conclusion, this study is discussed about the impact of the electronic promotion on the tourism consumer behavior. This study was applied to the sample of the local tourists in government of Mustad. This study is aimed to know the effect of the electronic promotion on the tourism consumer behavior. Moreover, the 206 sample of the, of the questionnaire was distributed to collect the data that distributes them of the local tourists in government of Mustad. Then the data were analyzed and the questionnaire distributed to the local tourists in government of Mustad. I used the Excel program to analyze the data. Thank you everyone to listen to me. So if you have any question, you have mostly welcome. Thank you very much, Mr. Jaina. It was very interesting. Thank you very much for uh, this uh, interesting presentation. And uh, congratulations again for your graduation project. And thanks also for Dr. Ahad for his valuable efforts. So, uh, I don't know if you have any question, uh, any remark, any uh, point to clarify, to discuss regarding the, th the three previous papers. Uh, it's an open discussion for the three papers, uh, paper one, paper two, paper three. Any question? Any question? Okay, thank you very much. It was a real pleasure.